everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's high speed video. Man, we are not talking about high speed. I'm gonna do it this video fast. We are talking about this car it is ridiculously fast. However, as fast as it may be, it also has an enormous amount of equipment. It was very expensive for its time. It has some really nice stuff on it you might not even notice yet, and I'm gonna point some of that stuff out. And we're gonna talk about a few things on it that I think uh, will make a difference uh, when you get this car, all right? So how about we get started, and we'll start on that right now. All right, so we're back here at oh, so many fun things to talk about. Man. I'm scratching my head. Okay, uh, so a uh, small lesson, and you may already know this, but I'm going to tell you people that may not know that so how I got educated as well. So, for instance, when you see brake caliper color, at least factory brake caliper color, uh, the silver caliper cars are two-wheel drive cars. The black caliper cars are four-wheel drive cars. And the yellow caliper cars are carbon ceramic brakes, right? This car here has the optional carbon ceramic brakes. This is 2024 that we're doing this video. This is a 2005. This car was very expensive for its time. For instance, the original sticker was one 56 220 you say well god that was expensive but it's not supercar expensive but that was 2005 if you do that in today's dollars it's almost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in today's dollars and that's what a 911 turbo s cabriolet costs and they are expensive and when's the last time you saw one right this car here not only do we have it so bone stock and unmolested is why i love this car right it has the original brakes are on here, right? This has a fresh set of Michelins all the way around. It lets you know that somebody that owned this car, they really cared about this car. This has a clear bra on it, right? So that you don't have to put that on. It's on here, it's on the bumper, right? And when this gets peppered, because these cars here are like shovels, they're, they're very aerodynamic, and so the rocks and chips and things like that can happen. Here, when this piece of plastic gets bad, you peel it off, the paint is beautiful underneath, and then, you get a new one. It's really nice. Now you don't have to paint the whole front end. It's way better, right? Um, and then we like to talk about paint. Silver is not so easy to see the quality of paint in here, but it's really very nice. And so I like to be able to show you uh, how crisp and clear the letters are there. Look at how crisp and clear the headlights are, because really uh, when these cars get a little bit older, sometimes the headlights can get cloudy. Those are cars that are outside in the sun a lot. We know that this car, based on the interior, uh, which is a very special interior too, we'll get to that in a minute. Don't rush me, don't rush me, all right? Uh, and that this right here, when these are outside, these get cloudy. And they get ugly. This is definitely a garage third or fourth car for somebody and, uh, and pretty spectacular too. All right, so here's what I mean by that. So for instance, in here, this is the windscreen, okay? Snaps in place, like everything has a place in this car, right? which I like. Soft luggage goes right here. The rear seat has plenty of room that folds down for a whole nother package shelf of more luggage if you wanted to go away. If you're taking that much stuff away, you might want to fly, but you get my point. My point is there's plenty of room to do all of that stuff in here. Uh, this has a CD changer from the factory in here, which was an option back then. The fact that the windscreen is still in the car is a pretty nice sign. It still has all of the plastic tabs and decals and stickers that the car would have come with from the factory showing you that the, that the panels are original and they haven't been repainted. These are the little things to be looking for. Like some cars are worth more than others because some cars are taken care of better than others. All right, there's a lot going back here. First off, when we're getting a turbo, we're getting a car that's almost four inches wider than the standard 911. Why? Because the wider the car, the wider the track, the better the handling, right? Okay, we got that. This right here is a hydraulically uh, activated spoiler. It's really cool because it sits inside here. You don't really see it, and I love that. This is a Turbo S. You're going to get this S emblem. It's our S. We do all of these in red, just kind of our signature uh, of what we do here. And if you like rather have chrome or black or whatever we can give that to you as well we just something that we do and then inside here uh, this is this is ridiculously clean I want to share with you why I say that because if you don't take care of these things and you only try to clean it when you go to sell it, you're never gonna get the dirt and grease off. This car has been detailed and loved its whole life. Look at how clean everything is here. Even the original decals, stickers, all this stuff still all in place the way it should be, right? That great sounding dual exhaust. Air filter's nice and clean in here. We didn't replace that, it came that way, right? 
again, signs there. These are the hydraulic rams, okay, that put the spoiler up and down. I believe they're right around the 70 mile an hour mark. I like to hit, I like to hit about 180, 185. I click it into the next gear, and then I look back to make sure the spoiler's up because I want to make sure that's working right. All of that I just made up. Anyway, you get my point. All right, so you're walking up to your cool car and you see these giant holes right here and you go, oh my God, man, what's going on? Why are they here? Why is this the only kind of car with these in here? Well, you know what's in here? Intercoolers, twin intercoolers, one on this side, one on that side to feed that big turbo six with, uh, with cold, dense air. All right, so uh, let's talk about functionality and safety. So here are some of the things that I love about these cars. So 911s have a... This is a convertible top. This is where it sits right here. And the reason they make that hard is because when you have cars that are 180 mile an hour plus cars, 180 to 210, depending on the year and make and model of these cars, right? Uh, you could get buffeting of the convertible top, which is very annoying. So they make sure that this goes right here and it makes it nice and solid. It's this triple top that goes on here. Second, these are roll bars that are built into the car. So if the car starts to tilt for any reason at all, these would pop back up, all right? And if something was just, if it was just uh, like you hit a curb or something like that this little cap pops off it comes with a little tool you crank it down and it puts those back in there next part this right here is a functional rear seat. People can actually sit back here. You take a couple kids, you can put the dog back here. I've ridden in the back of these cars or you fold it down right here and you turn it into uh, another place for luggage. Lastly, as we get into this car, this car here is very specific in the sense that it has a full leather interior. What does that mean, Tone, a full leather interior? What it means is that the door panels, um, the seats, the console, the dash, all of these things are covered in leather that are not vinyl, right? This is a very expensive package and uh, buried inside here is all of that good stuff. The best part about these cars and why we sell them is they're very much our number one selling husband and wife car. And what do I mean by that? Well, wives just as much love to drive these as husbands do. Sometimes the wife is a decision maker on this. Sometimes the husband is a driving force upon this. But it allows her or him to drive this car as well. But you're not laying in a bright red Ferrari down inside here while everybody stares at you, which is not a lot of fun. It sounds cool at first, but it's not a lot of fun. I'm going to be honest with you after a little while. It's annoying. This gives you supercar power, but cool and easy to drive if you want to and go for a drive, right? This has white face gauges. It says on there, Turbo S, you'll want that. Um, and then again, we're back to climate control, killer sound system with the bows in here, uh, functional stuff um, like cup holders, right? Like a real world car with cup holders and things like that. Glove box that actually holds things more than just uh, a piece of paper, heated seats, traction control, this right here is super nice because the whole wheel is leather. You can shift the, the transmission from here if you want. It's paddle shifter, so you don't have to use this down here. You can move it into manual mode, and now you have a manual car, or put it in drive if you got to jump on the phone or whatever, and you're in full automatic mode. Best of both worlds. It makes for a super, super car. A super car. Ah, I like that. All right, so we close up the video. Let's run down a few of the small things on this car that made it so spectacular. For instance, we know it's super low miles. We know that it was uh, uh, somebody's third or fourth car. I can't remember how many cars they had. Uh, we know it was very expensive. Why? Because this is a hand-built car. The Turbo S cars, believe it or not, the earlier versions of these cars, the 993 uh, versions of the Turbo S's, the Turbo S's were flown on 747s here. The regular Turbo was shipped on a boat. That's the difference between getting a regular 911 Turbo and a Turbo S, is that these S models have not only a great chassis, but they have things on them that a regular Turbo do not. Then we get into some luxury stuff like a full power convertible top, seating for four if we want to. Functionality of being able to take luggage and go with you. It's got the clear bra on it. It's got the carbon ceramic brakes. It's got fresh Michelins on it. This is an awesome, awesome car. I'm getting excited talking about it because I know when you see these, some are really nice and some are just okay. This is exactly what this one is. Really, really nice. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 911 Turbo Cabrio S. Uh, and uh, if you don't mind, hit the uh, like button down below. It helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Share it with your friends. They might like to see some of this as well and subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time.